Hey, I wanted to show you a quick way to get rid of some little clicks that happen in audio uh, as you're dealing with it in your editing process. There's nothing magical or super about this. It's just something a lot of people don't think about. And it's really just using the tools at your disposal and your smarts and your own editing philosophy to take care of some issues as they come up. And what I want to show you is here in this audio track, and this is in Audacity, for example, there are these little clicks that happen periodically. I don't know if the speaker was, you know, had a squeaky microphone stand or something, but you can hear it. I'm going to play it here for you to hear. Okay, so you heard it right there. Let me play it again. Okay, and right there, there's actually two of them. You can see two little spikes there and there. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Zoom, the Zoom function to zoom in and see exactly where those are, are happening. Now, part of the difficulty here is it's happening as the speaker is speaking. So you're going to have the sound wave of his voice mixed with the sound wave of this little click. So you've got to use your own smarts as an editor and your editing philosophy to decide what's the best thing to do with this. Okay, so I'm going to put my cursor right over the first one. I'm going to zoom in on it so I don't lose track of it. All right, so it's this little bump. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to zoom in. All right, and what I see is it's basically right here and i want to take out as little of it as possible so that i disrupt as little as possible of his actual speech pattern so what i'm going to do is highlight the area that i'm pretty sure it is i'm going to go over here and find the find zero crossings uh, function what that does is that makes my edit points start and end right on the zero decibel level so that there's less bump less obvious cut so I'm going to apply the find zero crossings, and then I'm going to cut that. I'm going to zoom back out, leave my cursor right where it is, zoom back out, and listen to the effect. Okay, so the first one is pretty much gone. Now here's the second one. I'm going to zoom in on it, and you see it's kind of the same thing right through here somewhere. I'm going to do the same thing, find zero crossings. And I'm going to cut it, and now I'm going to go back out and listen to it again. Happening to them. Okay, I'm going to zoom out quite a bit more so that I can get more context. Disruption happening to them. You see, you can still hear a little bit of it. Happening. Right in here, I believe. Happen. Yeah, it's right here. Happen. Happen. It's right there. It's this little bump. Okay, so I'm going to try it again. Find zero crossings. Cut it. And I'm going to zoom out and get more context. Disruption happening to them. Okay, see, and it's basically gone. It's basically gone. Now, there will be occasions where cutting the actual bump or click or whatever it is you're trying to get rid of cuts out too much of the word and you've got to decide to leave it in. But that's where your discretion as an editor comes into mind. Think in terms of what is worse, having this bump in there or not being able to understand what the person's saying or having to strain to understand what they're saying. I hope that makes sense to you. Just thought this would be helpful. Uh, if you have any questions or you have any comments, hey, please leave them. I would love to hear.